I don't know, will we get under three hours? People were delaying us. Driving time from Manila to La Union is means. The very first time we drove to La Union, it took us over five hours to get there. But since so many things have changed, so many things have developed, so many things have become so much more comfortable when traveling around in the Philippines. Alone on this route, we have the Skyway Stage 3 and we have the T-Plex extension that is going to cut this traveling time down to, I don't know, will we get under three hours? Let's see. My, my, my goal is to, <laughs> to get to La Union in under three hours. We are going to count the time from when we enter the S-Lex. Um, the Skyway, and, yeah. And then uh, the Skyway and then the N-Lex and then, so let's see how it goes. By the way, today I have driven over five hours already because I've driven to Subic Bay and I've driven home from Subic Bay. And yesterday I drove to Subic Bay and home from Subic Bay. So I got a lot of hours on the on these driving hands, but I'm motivated for this drive because we get to go back to La Union. And there are waves, we're gonna go surfing. We got some awesome meetings lined up. That is doing this, like, yeah, Mike, shut up. Yeah. He's going like, Mike, shut up. <laughs> yeah, our little princess is with us, traveling in her little bubble. I have other ways here, so I'm going to show you and stop. I'm going to stop the time on my phone once we enter the Skyway. Yeah. I think that is a good measure of time. Yes. So everybody can do that. Exactly, as well. exactly. Because. Not no people aren't gonna spend tra their time in traffic on Lawton Avenue. Yeah, That's... why is there always traffic here? Traffic. Anyway, what I wanted to say is, look at that, 6.6 .6 liters fuel consumption per hundred kilometers. I can't do that thinking way that people do. See you in a second. Okay, Nelly cuts me off again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> shut up, Mike. <laughs> Okay guys, we're entering Skyway. 2125 is the time. 2125? 2125. Okay, I'm starting the timer. The entrance! Let's see! Let's do it. Do you think we can make it in three hours? I hope so. <laughs> Okay, we are 17 minutes into our trip, entering the Skyway, and now we are at the toll booth to the... NLEX. NLEX. So, 17 minutes is good from Makati yeah. to this toll booth. All right, we have another milestone. We have reached the Subic Clark Tarlac Express. Subic Clark. Yeah, Tarlac. Yeah, and it yes. took us one hour and three minutes from Makati. Yes, but we've had like delays because people were delaying us <laughs> unnecessarily. It's live. That's, yeah. that's how it is. Look at <laughs> yeah, this guy going fast. <laughs> By the way, I'm trying to like stick to the limits. I'm not yeah, like racing. You can see, it's not really. That, that's the fuel consumption, that's not the speed. I know that it's yeah. the fuel consumption, yeah, yeah. it just Eco shows that yeah. you're... Economic driving. Yes, otherwise exactly. it would say 9 something yeah. per 100 liter. Yeah. There's no point like going a million miles per hour and saying, hey, you can do it in two hours. <laughs> we want to have a realistic representation of the facts. Who is sticking her head out of her box of a little bag? A little baggie -o. It's missed cuddles a lot. Oh, no, stay inside. Okay, after two hours and seven minutes, we have reached Rosario. It means if there's no traffic from here on, it might be only one hour. 
Yeah. So we, there is a chance to make it in under three hours. Yes, so this clock says one hour, nine minutes. Okay. But usually here on this stretch, there's like a lot of, there's like tricycles, jeepneys, chickens, <laughs> dogs, cats. Goats. Goats. And that slows down the whole process, but you don't have to, it's like not stop and go, it's just flowing. I remember last time we came, this was a very smooth yeah, we process. Yeah, were, we were driving through night time, right? Yeah, just like now. Yeah. One thing that I have to mention is that there are a lot of trucks on the road during night time. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, that's all, right? Sure. Not, there was not much going on otherwise. No. We're very lucky today. It's, what day is it? Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday like night. Seems like people are staying at home on Tuesdays. <laughs> okay, Nelly, how did I do? Okay, we arrived and open your window, put your window down. As indicator, we have the Petron petrol station with the huge thingies marvel statues marvel statues so we actually passed san juan already we yeah. like passed it yes we're driving to our airbnb and driving time from manila to san juan in la union is two hours 56 minutes we nice. did it Yay! Mission accomplished. Nice, yeah. Houston, there is no problem. There is no problem. Yeah, that was so smooth. We were really going conservative on the street. Um, we have in an average consumption of 6.5 per 100 kilometer. Yeah, which you can see here. And now we're going to check in. And now I'm starving and I'm done driving. Finally, yeah. after like six hours of driving today. But yeah, um, we just wanted to prove a point today that it goes fairly fast to travel from Manila to San Juan in La Union these days. Yeah. Very nice. We're happy. We hope you enjoyed this video. It was a very casual driving vlog, like we did with the Skyway, right? Mm -hmm. You guys loved that video, so we thought, why not? stop the time today as well um in any case we'll see you guys tomorrow same time same place from la union goodbye <laughs>